Hey guys and welcome back to another beauty video. I haven't filmed a beauty video in a little while. Um, I thought I would hop on today and film a kind of current favourites video. I haven't been doing monthly favourites this year. Um, but I do have quite a lot of things that I want to talk about. So I thought I would do a kind of summer favourite, summer beauty favourites video. And I'm sorry about the horrendous lighting. I look so washed out and pale in here. Um, this room is quite grey toned and normally I have lights when I film in here, I haven't filmed in here in ages either. Um, but the room that I've been filming in more recently is so hot. We're having heat wave right now, um, if you're not in the UK you won't know that maybe, but um, it's so hot and that is like the hottest room in the house. I'm currently literally about to pop, this is going to be the last but one video I film I think before having my baby. I think it's going to go up probably after we've had the baby at this point. Um, but yeah, so I just got, like, I can't handle the heat in that room. So here I am looking a little bit washed out and pasty. Um, but I wanted to talk about some current beauty favourites that I've been loving. Um, I'm going to talk about skincare first. I've got one thing on the skincare front that's actually like an old favourite that I've fallen back in love with that I've been using so much. I feel like during pregnancy you can't use loads of skincare products that are more active and I lean on those products so much in my normal life, non-pregnant life, to actually like make my skin look great, things like retinol etc. Um, and like really high concentration like acid peels, things like that. Um, but what I have been using is my Inky List um, Polyglutamic Acid. Now this is a similar kind of product to hyaluronic acid, it's really really hydrating. It's a similar kind of, um, it has a similar kind of effect on your skin. Um, however, I find the texture of this product in particular amazing because it's super super smoothing. It sits beautifully under makeup and I just really really have been loving it. Um, I use just one pump. Um, in between my kind of skincare and my foundation and it just helps everything look really smooth because um, at this point in time um, I obviously haven't been using any kind of highly active skincare but I also previously had Botox that's all completely worn off because I haven't had it in I can't remember the last time I had it actually I think it was last summer so probably almost a year so everything's completely gone including the filler in my nose which um, if you don't know about that, I've made a video about that. I loved and I miss and I can't wait till I can do it again But obviously you're not really supposed to do that when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. So um, everything in my face has gone In that respect and I can really tell I feel like it's one of those things that when it's not you you don't notice so much because like, in my Like in my personal life a lot of my friends are like oh, but like you can't really tell and I'm like I can tell though my skin looks like just so much like like less juicy um anyway this has really really helped me on that front and like leaving my skin like looking kind of smoother and glowier and nicer really hydrating really nice kind of summer product as well and what i've been using with that is my la roche posay um hyalu b5 aqua gel this is a spf product i love it i wish it was spf 50 it's not it's spf 30 however um if i was spending a lot of time kind of like outside in the heat, whatever, I would probably wear a base layer of, of higher, like probably SPF 50, but I do wear an SPF 50 spray over the top of my makeup, so I feel like for me this kind of gives me peace of mind and like average coverage. I have been spending minimal time outside recently because it's just too hot for me. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm too hot. I literally have a, like a furnace, an internal furnace going on. Anyway, I love the texture of this. I've spoken about this before as well, but this has been a recent kind of rediscovery. I think it came out last summer. It was probably in like a, a favourite, a similar kind of time last year. But it's basically hyaluronic acid, B5, antioxidant, gel moisturiser. And I don't normally find gels that hydrating, but this is just so so hydrating your skin like drinks it up it has spf 30 and it's just yeah it's the bomb i use like four pumps of it on my face and then um after a little after or before no i put the polyglutamic acid on first and then i put this on and then i wait five minutes and then i put my makeup on makeup wise and this again is not a new favorite i've still been using um the charlotte tilbury charlotte's beautiful skin foundation the shade i wear is number four neutral you can tell by how much of this I've used that I love it. It's like not even a whole pump for your face. It's really nice to apply with a brush, with a sponge, with your fingers. It's just, I love this stuff. I think it's so 
kind of natural looking it's so glowy it's just beautiful as the name would suggest <laughs> I, I really really like it and i found it like a few hit and miss reviews on this a lot of people don't love it you do have to powder it it is very very glowy and very dewy but i just find it's very easy so their description of it's for your best healthy looking skin day every day and i feel like that's like it just looks nice it's not i never have days you know sometimes with some products you have days where you where you put the product on and it just doesn't sit right and it just isn't quite right that day i never have that with this product it never kind of pills it never looks cakey it just sinks into my skin blends beautifully has really good kind of medium coverage um and then another product from charlotte tilbury actually that is new that i've had so many requests i featured this on my instagram stories when it arrived um, I've had so many requests to talk about this product. It's the Cream Bronzer. Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. The shade I have is number two. Now, the shades are something to talk about. There's four shades. This product is very similar, um, or it's probably, mo it's not very similar, but it's most similar probably to the Chanel Vice Lumiere, no, the, to the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer that comes in the pot which they do now do in a few shades, but originally they only made it in one shade. Um, and actually consistency wise, I think this is so much better. I actually love that Chanel product. I've used it over the years many, many times. Really, really like it. But I actually think that this one is better. It's more pigmented. It blends, I'd say it blends similarly and it's a similar kind of product to use. However, this is just more of a bronzer. I found with the Chanel one, it was never really like, I mean, I feel like for it to be not that bronzy on me, imagine how pale that is in terms of like, it was a nice kind of base, but this is just better. This product is better. It lasts longer on the skin. I have to say number two, so there's four shades. Like I said, this is the second lightest. So number two for me, this is very much a, I actually don't have this on today. Um, it's very much a summer product. So I would not be this dark in the winter. It would make me look really orange in the winter. I think what I'll probably end up doing is buying shade one as well and using that kind of when I'm a little bit paler because I've got a little bit of a tan, although in this light, it doesn't look like it at the moment, but I do. Um, so yeah, I just love this. The consistency of it is beautiful. I've used it loads. I use it as a kind of multi-use on my eyes as well for contour when I'm using it. Really, really, really rate that. Um, and I had a lot of requests to do a review on it when I featured it on my stories. Um, the other thing that's, I think, fairly new, new, newly formulated anyway is the Boing concealer from Benefit. I haven't loved a Benefit product in ages. Um, this is the Bright On concealer. There's a few different Boyan concealers, but this is the one that is amazing for under the eyes. Um, and I tend to use this just on the outer corner again, because I am starting to notice quite a lot more wrinkles around my eyes. And also, as I was talking about with skincare and Botox, etc., it's limited when you're pregnant. Um, I've noticed that a lot of concealers have been settling in my under eye, like fine lines. So what I've been doing is mostly putting concealer on the outside here, just to brighten everything, and then on the inner corner and kind of avoiding that middle center area where things tend to crease. And this works really nicely, actually. I love how lightweight it is. It blends really easily, very much rated. I have a feeling it might be number one or number two. It's one of the paler shades anyway. Um, and then other makeup that I've been loving, on top of all of that super glowy makeup, you have to powder like especially that charlotte tilbury foundation i feel like if you have kind of t-zone like basically even if you don't have an oily t-zone you need to powder it because it is very very glowy but i've totally fallen in love with this i don't like powder like i'm not a powder fan in general um this is the rhodial glass powder loose setting powder and this just doesn't sit like powder on your skin it's just very very smooth it's kind of like un untraceable um this is just the translucent, I think. Yeah, so it's just basically like kind of a beigey white color. Um, and it just, yeah, it's like invisible, but it just is invisible on top of makeup as well. Really, really, really rate this. It's quite expensive, but powder lasts for 500 years, I find. Um, it takes me ages to get through it because I never use a lot. 
And then lastly, oh no, two things, makeup wise. I've been using this tons. This is the NARS Air Matte Blush in the color Freedom. I have loved this this summer. I might put a little bit more on whilst I'm sat here. This is dangerous because it's not a mirror. I'm just looking at the tiny, tiny monitor. But it's so nice. I love the texture of this. It's like a mousse. What do they call it? Air Matte, Air Matte Blush. It's, it's like a very creamy mousse texture. And I don't normally love mousse products, but it's just really nice. I use this on my cheeks, on my lips, and also a little bit. I've got some on today. On my eyes, I usually just get a tiny bit. If I don't want to wear eyeshadow, and just add a little bit, a little bit on my nose, like that's left on my finger. And I also put some on my lips too and it's just really really easy it's a tiny little pot perfect for travel just very very easy go to love that from nars very very nice texture and then lastly something else i'm also wearing today is the armani neo nude lip balm in number two so this is their their neo nude collection is like their summery kind of like easy going like natural collection and this is the neo nude lip balm that has like a slight tint it's almost like one of those adapts to your lips like as you wear it the color comes out i just love the texture of this it's so hydrating so nice and such like a luxurious product to use i basically don't wear lip um lipstick at the moment like i just haven't been in the summer i'm just like less inclined to wear like a full-on lip sometimes i wear a gloss but this is just right up my street it's just like very light very easy but still gives you that feeling of being like a, a luxe like nice kind of treat to use. And then moving back to kind of skincare and SPF briefly. Um, again, this is an old favorite. I think I first used it last summer. Maybe it was the summer before. The Anthelios um, Anti-Shine Mist. This is what I use over my makeup and as like an SPF top up if I'm out and about. Um, because it's so compact to have in your handbag and it goes straight over your makeup. I'll put it on for you now. and it just sits so nicely. It is a little bit shiny, despite the name, when you first spray it, but when it dries down, it's just a really nice finish. And I find even a lot of the ones that are supposed to be, put some on my chest too, and it's good for like get it, getting your ears. I use this on River quite a lot as well because she hates having sun cream spray or sprayed or anything. And this is quite like, it's not wet, so it just like literally, so for top ups, it's just so, so good if you're out and about. So you can see it adds like a little bit of glow, which I, I don't hate, I really like it. Um, and it's just a really good way of like finishing your makeup and then topping up throughout the day, making sure you're kind of covered during the summertime. Um, and then, cause I think a lot of people put on an SPF at, at, the, at the beginning of the day and then kind of forget about it and don't reapply it. Whereas actually by the time, you've put your stuff on, done your makeup, and like you've, it's probably almost worn off by the time you're outside anyway, if that makes sense, if you do your makeup first thing in the morning, by the time the sun's like at its strongest. Um, so you wanna be reapplying if you can, if you're out and about a lot. I really, really like that product. I think it's the best one on the market in terms of um, over makeup sprays. I've tried a lot, I've tried Kate Somerville. The Garnier one is good actually, it is good considering the price is about half of the Lush Posay one. I think the Lush Posay one's about 11 pounds. The Garnier one's about five pounds, but it is a bit more sun creamy. So I find with the Garnier one, I have to like pat it into the skin. Um, as opposed to that one, you can kind of get away with just spraying it and go. Anyway, um, body favorites. The Body Shop Refreshing Passion Fruit is their new like summer scent. They sent me a few of these um, over the past when was it? A few weeks ago. Oh my God, this is so good. This is the shower gel. I've actually been using it as a bubble bath as well and it works really well as a bubble bath. It just smells so good. It smells like actual fresh passion fruit. It's so delicious. Perfect summer scent, loved that. Um, and then from the like, I actually, I was gonna say from the affordable, but I actually think the body shop for shower gel is fairly expensive. I haven't ch actually checked the price on this. Last time I did, they're about six or seven pounds. Um, so from the kind of like normal to the absolutely ridiculously expensive, but this has been like my ultimate treat whilst being pregnant. 
I'm so rubbish at like body lotions and like moisturizing my body when I'm not pregnant. When I'm pregnant, every like twice a day, three times a day, I'll be massaging this into that bump. Um, I've used loads of different things. This has been my like final, the final one. It's all bay, so the smell, it's, it's the smell. It is the smell and the texture, but the smell is just, all of their products are amazing. I love their hair products so much. This is their Cote d'Azur Restorative Body Creme. That's how much I've used up in about two weeks. I don't even want to think of that, what that is in a daily, in a daily cost per use. <laughs> I don't want to think about it because I think the bot it's about 50, 60 pounds. Um, they've weirdly, I say 50 or 60 because I think they've changed the packaging and the price has changed to reflect that. I think I've got the old packaging which was way more luxurious in the pot and I think they now have it in like a pump. Either way, this is what I've asked Mike for for my birthday. I've asked for the fragrance of this because it just reminds me. Now because I've been using it for the past kind of like, it will be like three weeks of my pregnancy. So it's like that last stretch. It really reminds me of that time and I really want to have the fragrance. Obviously when the baby's born, I, don't, I nearly said his name then because we've been like calling him his name at home. Um, yeah, I nearly did it. <laughs> um, when he's born, I obviously want, like, you don't, you don't really wear perfume, usually. Most people choose not to because they're kind of getting used to your smell and, like, you know, you just any kind of extra scent around a baby is just not what you want. But once we're through that, like, initial newborn stage, I really want this to be the fragrance that, like, reminds me of the time of, like, being pregnant with him and having him and, like, I'd really like that. Fragrance for me has such strong... Um, links with memory and just memory triggers and just nostalgia so I really really want the actual perfume of this to be like kind of this time in my life and then last but not least oh I've forgotten the shampoo and conditioner I'm going to include the close-ups because I can't be bothered to run and get it now I'll do it afterwards um, but basically the um, new Purology Nan I think it's called Nano Gold I'll put it on the screen so you know the new one is just exceptionally good. I love Purology shampoo and conditioner and just in general all of their hair products. I've used them for years and years. Um, I don't I don't know actually how much, how much specific styling products they use as opposed to wet products. It's mostly I use all their wet products. I don't know I don't know how much styling stuff they do. They're more known for their kind of shampoos and conditioners and toners etc. Um, anyway, love the brand. I've used them for years. I use their um, hydrate range for years and years. This new gold one is off the chain good. If you have colour treated hair, if you have dry hair, it's like super, super hydrating. Um, it just makes your hair feel super nice and just really just, yeah, love it. And it smells divine as well. Slightly more expensive, but a little bit goes a long way. And I find I'd have to wash my hair less using this. Um, I, mean, I think that's also a pregnancy thing as well. Like I, I only really wash my hair kind of once every five days not pregnant but being pregnant it's like once a week once every 10 days so um yeah love it and the other thing i absolutely have been loving for the past few months is the pure again from purology the color fanatic top coat and tone this one's empty i'm gonna have to buy another one they are so brilliant if you have color treated hair um, this just, it's like a, the equivalent of like a purple shampoo or purple treatment, but it's just different because it's not super purple. Like it doesn't strip out the color like a lot of purple toners do. And if you want kind of gray toned blonde, absolutely fine. That's probably what you're looking for. But if you have warmer blonde hair like mine, so it's like more of like a golden blonde and you want to just knock out the yellowness a little bit, but you still want to keep the warmth. This is really, really good because it just does that. It lasts for like about a month on me. So it's about four washes. They say like four to six washes. Um, and it's just super super moisturizing as well so it's a it's obviously like a gloss and toner like you would have if you went and got your hair done in the salon it's that kind of vibe but it leaves your hair honestly so shiny and like well conditioned that element of it i would say only lasts for a couple of washes but it's just honestly like the most divine conditioning treatment as well as a color treatment for your hair i love this stuff really really good i'd say you probably get about six uses or if you have hair long thick hair like mine you probably get about six uses out of a bottle like this um which is 200 ml i use quite a lot on my hair um just a heads up so yeah but obviously you're only using it like once a month so 
it's gonna last you quite a long time anyway that is it for my current beauty favorites i hope you guys have enjoyed it um it's nice to be back on here and making a little bit of content i don't know when i'll next see you because there's gonna be a little bit of a break for baby he's really moving around at the moment he's like kicking me right in the ribs um but yeah i'm about to go off and have my baby so um i'll see you when i see you i i'm, I'm like pre-filming a few things so hopefully there won't be too much of a gap in content um but thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon bye